Hello artists! In this short tutorial we're going to talk a little about the, the transport controls in Audacity. Now the transport controls let us pause, stop, record, rewind, various other functions. Very very useful and we use it all the time in Audacity. Let's have a closer look. In Audacity here you'll see in the le top left hand corner we have this series of buttons. This is our transport control. Now you'll notice on the left hand side of that control there's a little tab. I can grab that tab with my mouse and I can drag and drop it anywhere I want it to be. So if, if you have a more convenient location you want to work from you can drag it anywhere you like. But for now I'm going to put it back where it started. But that's up to you. Now if I roll my mouse over any of these buttons it's going to give me the name of the button which is very convenient. This is the pause button. We have play, stop, skip to start, skip to end, and last but not least, record. Let's have a closer look. First of all, play will play from wherever I have my cursor, my cursor placed. And you can see my cursor is placed right here. So if I push play, it will start from that point. And of course, the stop button will stop the recording. Now, sometimes I may not want to stop the recording. I may want to freeze it. I may want to pause it. And of course, with that, we'd use pause. Let's see how that works. Now, you see, when I hit pause, the cursor is now right here. You can see a little green triangle. It's right here. Uh, but when I've got it paused, I can't record anything further. I can't fast forward rewind. I can't add effects. I can't edit. In order for me to be able to continue working, I have to push stop. So that's a little caution here. If you find sometimes you just can't do anything, perhaps you've got pause enabled. And you can see it's enabled here because it's dark gray. If I push pause again, it'll continue playing. <laughs> and pause it again. And if I want to disable pause, I can hit stop and it will take me back to the original placement of my cursor and I can continue the work from there. But that is a very common problem that comes up when using Audacity. People say, I've been recording or I've been playing back and now I can't edit, I can't do anything. Well, you check the pause button, it might be paused. Let's continue. The skip to start button will move the cursor to the very beginning of your track. You can see it moved from here over to the very beginning. If I click skip to end, it will have the same effect. It will move it to the very end of my track. And of course, last but not least is record. <clears throat> if you hit record button, Audacity would automatically start a new track for you and begin recording sound. Very easy. And if you want to know more about recording, there's a tutorial here in this series on how to record. So you can check that out as well. So that's it for transport controls in Audacity.